Hello everyone, my name is Jordan and welcome back to another episode of the Bucket Coding series. Today we're going to be making a vanish command, but first I have two polls that I would like you all to answer in the description. So the first one is, if I had a Patreon, would you support me? And so you can see all the answers there. Um, and also if you do have any recommendations for things I could offer as a Patreon rewards, please let me know as I'm definitely looking to do this. Um, because making these videos is not cheap, especially when uh, I'm starting to have equipment break. Uh, my computer actually broke, so I'm running off of different loaner computers. Um, right now, but I'm trying my best to pump out these videos for you all. Uh, and then the second one is should I open source all of my bucket coding tutorial plugins on GitHub? So um, this could be either yes, no, or only the recent ones. And of course, the older ones would probably have their convention and uh, different things about them updated to make sure they were um, of the best possible quality and make sure that everything is uh, good to go. Uh, so yeah, that's all I wanted to go ahead and preface this video with. These polls will be down in the description. Other than that, let's jump right into this plugin. So, uh, I've set up this with a vanish command class and the main class here. So let's just go ahead and get some code written. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and create an instance of our vanish class. Um, so we're going to say private static vanish vanish. Uh, and so, you know what, let's make this actually a little nicer and let's go ahead and say private vanish vanish so this will still be an instance of our class it just won't be static so it removes that necessary uh, necessity um, from our plugin next let's create a private uh, list of you know what we can make this a set so let's make a private set a set is basically like a list but uh, I believe it's a little more efficient in this case uh, so a private set of player and we're gonna make this a vanished list and we're going to equal this or make this equal to a new hash set and down here in our on disable we're going to say vanish list dot clear and inside of our on enable there's nothing we need to do except for say get command vanish dot set executor new vanish command and we're going to just going to say this inside of that no we're going to go ahead and make sure this works properly by creating a vanish command constructor with our vanish instance inside of it so what the what this allows us to do is access everything inside of our vanish class uh, such as our vanish list um, inside of this without needing to use any static method so this is just another way you could do this uh, instead of using the static singleton method uh, one thing we're gonna do in here before we jump into our vanish command is say public void add player or vanish player 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 we're gonna say uh, if well, let's change this to toggle vanish for player. We're going to say if vanish list dot contains player, then we're going to unvanish, and we'll get to that in a second. Otherwise, we're going to vanish them. So let's just get our code in here. We're going to say if sender is instance of a player. So if the sender is indeed a player, then we're going to uh, cast our sender to a player. So we're going to say player player is a or the sender is a player, basically just, you know, casting. And then we're going to say, um, let's check if args.length is equal to zero. Uh, first of all, let's check for permission. So let's say if player dot has permission, has AI, that's new, has permission. Uh, and then we're going to make our permission vanish.use. Uh, then we're just going to go ahead and execute or whoops, we need to say if player does not have the permission, then we're just going to return false. Send the player a message saying uh, in chat in red, you don't have permission. So just basic permission stuff here. As soon as we get down into here, we're gonna say if args.length is equal to zero, then we're gonna say vanish.toggle vanish for the player. Otherwise, we're gonna say uh, string player name equals args index of zero. We're gonna say if bucket dot get server dot get player player name does not equal null then we're going to say player player you know what we can make this a little better we're going to say player target is going to be equal to all of this and we're going to say if target does not equal null put that up there and we're going to say vanish dot toggle vanish on target um, and then we're also going to say target dot send message um, you know what we can do that no, let's modify our toggle vanish here. So let's say public void toggle vanish 
with message, and we're gonna say player player string message. And in here we're gonna say we're gonna copy all this, we're gonna say toggle vanish with message player, and then that, and then put our logic down into here. Um, just so we don't have to maintain two methods makes this a little nicer. Let's say chat color dot um, gold, that works fine. Um, well, you know what? We can't quite set that message yet, so let's just, huh. You know what? Let's change this up a little bit to say player sender. Actually, let's make this one player sender. So we're going to say player sender, toggle vanish, and then we'll change this from message to sender. And we, I'll explain this in just a second here. And change this to sender. Um, so the purpose of doing things like this um, is to make it so the me message is always going to be correct. If we had just specified the message here, it would come out a little weird um, based upon if we had unvanished or vanished. So let's go ahead and do this properly. So we're going to say for uh, get server. Whoops. Get. Why won't it let me do that? That's weird. This dot get server. Huh. That's strange. Uh, so this dot get server dot uh, get online players. Oh, I know why. For player, player, uh, online, we'll change this to online and make that a colon. For uh, every online player, we can go ahead and uh, iterate through them. We're going to check if the online uh, has the permission vanish.cother, and if so, we're going to return. Uh, actually, just since this is unvanished, we don't need to do this. Um, we can just say online dot uh, show player. I think there's a hide. Yeah, there's a hide. So show player, uh, player. And then for the uh, player, we're going to send them a message in, in gold and say uh, sender dot get name has vanished you or has unvanished you rather. And we're also going to go ahead and we'll change that unvanished. We're going to check first before we send that if player is equal to sender. Uh, otherwise, we're going to send them this message. And and we're just going to change this to um, you've unvanished. So uh, let's go ahead and copy all this code now. Inside of our vanish, we're going to change this to hide player. This time, though, whoops. This time, we're going to check if online has the permission uh, vanish dot c other. If so, we're going to write continue, which basically tells our system to skip this player but continue looping through the for list or the uh, list of online players here. Uh, and again, we're going to change the uh, text here to say vanished and uh, has vanished you. Uh, and so now this should work properly. So it's going to toggle vanish on uh, everyone. And then as soon as the server disables, we're going to uh, we're going to show everyone to prevent any uh, possible bugs, as I think. Uh, there could be. I haven't worked with vanishing um, in a while, so you know I'm not quite sure. So, oh, before we clear the vanish list, let's clear it. Uh, before we clear it, we need to iterate. So we're going to say for player uh, hidden colon vanish list. We're just going to uh, show that player to everyone else. Awesome. Uh, so. Let's go ahead and build and run our plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and hop on uh, my testing server, and we can go ahead and test the plugin. Of course, we won't be able to see uh, if we're hidden or not. Oh, you know what? One more thing we need to do is to check our plugin.yml. So we just need to say commands and vanish. Just leave it like that, and it'll work fine. Okay, let's go ahead and build our plugin. I will go ahead and see you all on the testing server uh, so we can make sure that this works as uh, intended. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I went ahead and changed uh, a few lines of code here just to make sure everything works as intended uh, and, and, you know, minimize the amount of bugs possible. Uh, we need to make sure we add our player to the vanish list. I completely forgot about that. So inside of our uh, vanish right here, we do that. Uh, and then right now, I just realized we need to also um, remove them from the vanish list. So uh, that's awesome. So perfect. That works just fine now. Uh, and then right here inside of our loop uh, in the vanish section, uh, along with the online dot has permission, I, I went ahead and made an or statement. 
uh, and then right here I said if the online uh, person is equal to the player so if we're trying to hide the player from themselves don't do that uh, because that could have some not so good results uh, from what I know so let's go ahead and test our plugin so let's go ahead and type in the vanish command and it says you vanish now we type in it again it says you've unvanished that's good to go I hope you guys all enjoyed this video uh, if you did make sure to leave a like and make sure you go ahead and vote on the polls in the description um, I will try my best to upload more videos I'm working on that uh, I've just been so busy and such um, so yeah I will do my best to get videos out there Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see those new videos come out. Other than that, I hope you all have an awesome day. Take care.